John Lang longest Seoul over military exercise with United States. Seoul North Korea has slammed South Korea for the letters combined military exercise with the United States, which is off Sunday, saying it will not interact with the South until there is a plausible explanation for the war exercise. In a foreign ministry statement, released the day after it launched what are believed to be short-range ballistic missiles, John Lang said its recent launches are just part of the regular process of developing conventional weapons. Given that the military exercise clearly marks us as an enemy, they should think that further inter-Korean contact will be difficult unless they put an end to such a military exercise, or before they make a plausible excuse or an explanation in a sincere manner for conducting the drill. Said a statement released under the name of Swan, John Khan, Director General of the Department of American Affairs. The statement came as South Korea and the United States began their joint computer-based exercise called Combined Command Post Training for the second half of the year. The Allies had conducted the Dong Ma 19, to win joint military exercise in March, replacing previous annual exercises Key Resolve and Full Evil, in part to support peace efforts with North Korea. The Combined Command Post Training, which follows. Four-day crisis management staff training that started August 6 is aimed at verifying capabilities for the envisioned retaking of wartime operational control from the United States, according to the JCS. But the North said that changing the name of the military exercise cannot hide what it claimed is an aggressive war game against the regime. It is a miscalculation if they, South Korea, think that changing the name of the exercise can alter its aggressive nature or that we would make it pass off quietly, Hun said in a ministry statement. Eh, though hard and dry, still sinks even if it is wrapped in a flowered cloth. Long Man also mocked Seoul for failing to accurately assess the projectiles that it has fired in recent weeks, directly criticizing the South Korean president and defense minister. On Saturday, Long Man fired two projectiles into the East Sea from Hanhung, South Hanyang Province, according to Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff the fifth launch in the past three weeks, and seventh this year. The intelligence authorities of Seoul and Washington assessed that they were short-range ballistic missiles, but the North said it had tested a new weapon system that has advantageous tactical character different from its existing weapon system. Last time, it became a global laughing stock when it lost its head because it had failed to calculate properly the range of the power demonstration firing of our army, Quinn said. It is really a sight to see. Seoul maintains that all projectiles launched by Xiong Men in the past week are short-range ballistic missiles, but the North has said it successfully test fires large caliber multiple rocket launchers on two occasions. In the foreign ministry statement, Wynn also denounced Seoul for objecting to its launches, saying that even the United States president approved of the missile test. With regard to our test for developing conventional weapons, even the United States president made a remark which in effect recognizes the self-defense rights of a sovereign state, saying that it is a small missile test with a lot of countries who, Wynn said. But, the South Korean authorities call the building of our self-defense armed forces as a military tension while urging to stop this. Then, how can the South Korean authorities have the cheek to utter such nonsense? On Saturday, United States President Donald Trump said he had received a letter from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, in which he expressed his will to restart the nuclearization negotiations after the South Korea US military exercise is over. In a letter to me sent by Kim Jong-un, he stated, very nicely, that he would like to meet and start negotiations as soon as the joint United States slash South Korea joint exercise are over, Trump said on Twitter. Trump also said Kim offered a small apology for testing the short-range missiles, and that it would stop after the exercises end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.